little something new for y'all. It's called Got a Man Shook. I watch her go on social sites and expose her whole life. From a hard day's work, the argument she get into, down to the very panties and bras she wear at night. Posting naked pictures just to get a like. Laboring her and her friends as a group of untamed female dogs While the acronym is equivalent to the real name Bad Bitches Come on baby girl get a life You got a man shook If you think what's in between your legs And what's connected to your face and your head Gonna keep a brother hooked Yeah right I watch her go to bars, clubs, and malls Standing anywhere from 5 to 6 feet tall with her shorts and her skirt 6 to 12 inches above her knees. Claiming she looking for a man that's going to treat her like a real woman. Girl, please. Or should I say little girl, please. You got a real man shook. Crying when he walked out of your life. Thinking he was going to forever be your man. But you met him off a one night stand. With a closed heart and an open hand. And freely gave away your jewels like an open beach of sand. And really you didn't expect him to be a one night man? You got a brother shook with three or four kids, different baby daddies claiming they all ain't it, acknowledging every wrong that they did and still haven't took the initiative to acknowledge the position that you in. You got a brother shook talking about Bob Barker. If the price is right, I might distributing yourself over social sites, a mummy at day and a worker at night. When 60 to 80 percent of women in Atlanta is AIDS or HIV positive, brothers, that's like gambling with your life. Question, are you willing to roll that dice? Because she ain't worth that price. And baby, if you ain't coming in the material of a wife, tested and approved, don't even waste your time because you lose. For real, in the future, what will your children think of you? Will your daughter mess with the same type of dudes and do the same things you do? And will your son mess with women like you? And that's one of the reasons, one of the main reasons I can never see a future with a woman like you, because even the very thought of it got a nigga shook.